Thanks for watching. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified of each new video as it comes out. Hi everybody, I'm JJ Johnson. You're watching Reality Survival. And today we have a really cool knife to talk about. Uh, this knife is from Holtzman's Gorilla Survival. And um, he contacted me a while back and said, hey man, I'm, I'm developing this new knife. I don't have any yet. Uh, but I was wondering if you could take a look at them and see what you think. And so uh, we went back and forth several times and he sent some out. And so this is it. And so uh, there's two of them that I'm going to show you. One, we're just going to go over one today. I'll do another video on the second one. Um, but this is the knife. This is called the Silverback. And it is a uh, full tang knife with D2 steel. Um, it is eight and a half inches long and it is, the blade is four inches long. The handle is four and a half. And I will tell you right off the beginning, um, one of the things that I really like about this knife, it, 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 is, it is really, really comfortable in your hand. So just working with it uh, just around the house. And stuff like that here later in the video uh, I'm gonna have some some video of just you know cutting some stuff and doing some feather sticks and you know chopping stuff up and just kind of using it and cutting with it and all that kind of stuff so you'll see that uh, here at the end of the video um, I'm not sure that we would call it necessarily like a full field review but sort of a barn review <laughs> I guess because uh, we're in the middle of the winter time here and uh, the weather and wind and everything's just been nuts but um, this is this is a nice knife this is this is a nice knife and if if you can I don't know if you can really tell uh, on here I'll move my fat head out of the way but the handle is has a has a, a very nice contour to it a very nice palm swell and it's a G10 uh, scales are, are what's on it. Uh, it also has a, a nice kind of uh, finger groove kind of built into it. And then it's kind of got some, some little thumb divots down in here. And man, the, the design work on the handle alone is the, the big winning thing on this knife. I've reviewed a lot of knives over the years. I've used tons and tons of knives, even stuff that I haven't done reviews on, and I am going to tell you that this is probably in the top one or two knives as far as comfort goes in the hand. Um, it makes the SE4 feel like, like you're just holding a club or something. I mean, it's way more comfortable. Um, and that's important for hard use knives. If you're gonna do something, if you're gonna have a knife and you're gonna be using it a lot and all that kind of stuff, you want a knife that feels really good in your hand. And um, it just gives you a better grip and all that kind of stuff. So, so this is, is impressive. Now, the funny thing is, is that I'm talking about the, the handle more than I'm talking about the knife itself. And, um, you know, the, the rest of the knife is actually nothing um, to sneeze at. I mean, it, it's actually a very, very nice blade. I really like D2 blades. Um, as you can see, you've got a little lanyard hole down here. Um, you've got what I what I would call a saber grind. Um, and you can see, you know, it's basically the same on both sides there. Um, then you've got a drop point, um, you know, on the, on the spine there. And it does taper just a little bit, um, you know, at this at this front edge as well. Not a lot, but a little bit. Uh, I'm guessing that the that the thickness is probably right about three sixteenths. Um, I haven't measured it, but that's what it that's what it looks and feels like to me. Um, he's got a little got a little gorilla emblem on the side there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me. There we go. So that's kind of cool. It's got his little logo in there. Um, and like I said, it's D2 steel. It's, it is Rockwell uh, hardness treated to uh, about 60, maybe 60, just a little, little, little north of 60. Um, 
and so I did the I did the cutting that you're going to see here in a, a, a minute, um, and I was concerned when I heard uh, the hardness with the the D2 steel that maybe it would be hard to sharpen, but it wasn't. Uh, after I did the review, I I uh, kind of touched it back up on a uh, a whetstone and it was actually very easy to sharpen still and so i was i was surprised by that combination because a lot of times you get that hardness up too high and it, and it starts to uh, to get a little bit harder to sharpen but this was actually very easy to sharpen and uh, it, it held its edge very very well i didn't even need to sharpen it um, afterwards i just did it just because i wanted to see you know how it was to work with because that's one of the things if an, if a knife's too hard to sharpen um, then it's just it's not a great knife to have as a work knife because you need to sharpen it regularly you know what I mean um, so anyhow uh, super impressed super impressed with the knife um, with that we'll go ahead and and uh, get up there and take a look at the uh, at the stuff in the barn and and I'll, and I'll try to uh, roll in some close-ups uh, of the blade so you can get a little better picture of it uh, at the at the very end of the video as well um, just to just kind of show you how, how how much of a nice looking knife this is uh, let me see here if I can think of anything oh I know what else I need to talk to you about holy cow <laughs> the sheath the sheath is awesome too okay so the sheath is a kydex sheath um, geez, can't believe I almost forgot that. We, we have a, it's about a three and a half inch ferro rod that comes with it. And um, it's got a G10 scale or G10 handle on it also. And this uh, ferro rod is, is, is a nice one. It's, some ferro rods are really hard and they put off really fine sparks you know this one is a softer ferro rod and it puts off the big like chunky sparks that when they hit then they'll kind of flame up on their own and it's actually really good for starting fires um it, it doesn't make as a pretty of a sh as a show as some of the other ferro rods but it actually starts fires uh, a little better so that's kind of cool and he's got the loop on the side here so that you can just stick that in there and uh, he does uh, supply some paracord with that if you want to make a little lanyard. The other cool thing is he got, he's got is he has a little scraper. And uh, see so if we can get that to focus. And the scraper uh, has you know 90 degree edges on all sides of it. It's a it's like a high high carbon steel kind of scraper or whatever. Um, I assume it's high carbon steel. I'm not sure actually, but anyhow. Uh, it works very well for scraping the fire, the, the ferro rod, um, and that has a nice little sheath that for the scraper that, that locks on the outside of the knife sheath. So that's pretty cool. Um, really well thought out design. So the next thing is on the back here, we have basically like your tech lock. Um, it's got the spring loaded clip. I'm not sure if it's the actual tech lock brand, but that's kind of what it looks like. And the cool part about this is, is that you can, he supplies a, uh, an Allen wrench so you can turn this to do vertical carry or like a ranger carry like that. And, uh, you know, the knife goes in really positively, you know, it clicks in good and it's, it's really just a, you know, it's a pretty good, pretty good thing there. Um, you hear just a touch, just a little bit of movement, but it's it's locked in there pretty good. It's not going to come out, um, and it's pretty solid, pretty solid deal. Now let me show you what the the packaging looks like uh, when when it came in in the mail. You get this kind of a gift box, and so if you wanted to give this as a gift, this would be a great tool or a, a great way to do that. It's got kind of magnetic edges on the on the box. There comes with a sheet that that talks about care and use and, and sharpening and, and all those kinds of things. So that's cool. Then we also had uh, this little leather strap was on the knife or on the sheath. I don't know if I can get it facing the right way. Ah, okay. So basically 
it was on the sheath like that. And this, this was a, a snap that you could unsnap. And so um, I took that off because I didn't think it was necessary. I actually, I can probably show you that on the other one here a little bit better. So I was going to show you this other knife in another video, but since I already took that off. So see how the, that is, is kind of um, done as an extra retention. You know, and so that's kind of cool if you want that. If you want that on there, then that's that's cool for you. Um, I didn't think that it was necessary for for my particular uses, so I took that off. Um, you also have a couple of adjustments that come for the tech lock, so you can adjust to the right thickness of belt. And then he also has the little Allen wrench tool and a uh, Phillips head screwdriver, so that you can tighten up any screws or anything. And then he gives you a little bit of a black paracord so that you could also make um, so that you could also make lanyards. And so that's kind of the presentation box, um, so to speak. And I'll show you this other one. With this other knife, just so you get a better look at what it looks like when it comes to you. So, very nice presentation, very nice packaging, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is a 1095 knife over here. Um, but again, we're just looking at the D2 today. Uh, D2 steel has always been a favorite steel of mine. I think it's a great, a great combination. It seems to hold edge very well, and it's not hard to sharpen. And uh, the other thing I don't like, or the other thing I like about it, is that it's easy to clean the blade. Um, with a lot of other finishes and stuff like that, you get the powder coat finish and stuff and different different things. It's just it gets all marked up and it's hard to keep clean looking. Um, this is after having used it, you know, up in the barn and all that, and uh, just wipe it off and it and it looks great. So pretty cool. Anyhow, um, as far as negatives go I can't really think of a lot um, I really can't uh, you know he, he is coming out with one a design that is a longer length than four inches so for me this this knife fits into kind of the middle you know a uh, long time ago I did a video talking about the three knife system I like to carry, carry a pocket knife a middle knife which is where this one would fit in and, and that's what does like 80 to you know 90 percent of the work right that is these and then uh like a longer knife with a six or seven inch blade so that you can do split wood fires with bigger logs and stuff if you needed to in an emergency um, this will still do split wood fires just fine you're just going to need to have the logs be a couple inches or so in diameter um, and and we do some of that here in the in the video so anyway um you know, just a cool knife and super, super comfortable. So I worked out a deal with him uh, for Reality Survival uh, viewers. If you use the discount code um, REALITYSP, then you will get 15% off. So I thought that was pretty cool. I will put a link uh, down in the description below to where you can find these knives. And, uh, and you can put in that discount code to get, I think it's on Amazon uh, is where he's, where he's got these for sale right now. Um, and his Amazon store has got a lot of other survival gear and stuff. You guys could check that out as well. But I'll put all the links down in the description. Uh, Reality SP to get 15% off. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the footage in the barn. Mm -hmm. 